Hello, hello, everybody. This is Jen from Stardust Wanderer Tarot. And today I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the Dark Goddess Tarot. Now this has one of a nice big magnetic box and the insert in there. I love the big boxes. They just like sit nice on the shelf. So there's that part. And the book is like a full size book. Um, the back. It actually has full size picture of each card and the meanings. It tells a story about um, whatever goddess is on there. So this is Baba Yaga. And so it tells you all about her and what to expect when she shows up in a reading. So this is keep going, knowing the journey does not end. Um, learn through experience over instruction. Follow intuition over authority. Ask invisible friends to be your companions. This is a good time to explore or deepen relationships with unseen beings. Right? I love it. It has like such cool... Um, just the stories about everyone in there too. I really, <clears throat> excuse me, I really love it. <clears throat> like the book alone is super good. Like just to sit and read. And that's something that always makes me happy. So we have the cards. There is the back. It's got the, some fabulous, very shiny gold edging. And the cards are, um, a little bigger than the normal size. So for me, it does make it like my hands are kind of small. So it makes it a little hard to shuffle them. But I also feel like with the artwork, artwork on them that it would probably not do it justice to be this size either because they are really cool cards. So we'll go through some of them, the world. Ace of Fire, Two of Fire, Three of Fire, which is Wands, Four of Fire, Five, there you go, that's Six, Super cool. Look at that one. I love them. I think these are great to use for teaching, use for shadow work. I mean, so many things. And like I said, the book, you can really take advantage of the stories in the book and just kind of broaden your knowledge on all of these dark goddesses. They really are so much fun. I feel like these two really like make you think, you know, like I, you know, you get like super couple of readings I did with them. It's just like super deep readings, really making you think this would really be great to journal with. Even just pulling one of these a day, reading the story about whatever dark goddess it is, and then um, doing some journaling on it would be really cool. I think a lot of these don't get the credit they deserve, you know, and they are considered the dark goddesses. So everyone's like, oh, I don't know about those, but they have such good lessons in them. So 
I definitely would check it out. This is a good one to have in your tarot toolbox because you can use these. Oh gosh, there's so many things. Like I can really think of so many that you can use these for. Because they can almost be used as like oracle cards even. Pull one at the end of a reading, pull one to say, you know, what energy do I need to channel today? What goddess, dark goddess? And I know there's another version of these. I don't have them. Um, I know a friend of mine does. And I do think the cards are a little bit smaller. But I am all about doing an awkward shuffle for a nice card. So that won't hold me back like ever. One's cool too. Oh, look at this one. I really like that one actually. I like this depiction of Kali that they chose as well. And this has to be one of my favorite ones. That one's a really cool one too. And of course we got Baba Yaga, which every time I, I always pull her at least once. So I should probably be paying attention to that. Baba Yaga's got some stuff to tell me. Good Freya. Aww. Oh, I like that with the, with the owl on it. The Black Madonna. Oh my goodness. That's a sweet card. I really like that one. I love the colors in that one too. Oh, this one's cool. It's so hard to have a total favorite. I just, I'm really into gods and goddesses and mythology. So I just totally geek out on all of these. Like I just could totally dive right into all of this and love every minute of it. So it's definitely, definitely a fun deck. I would love to hear in the comments too, if how you would use this deck or how you do use this deck. And even if you have the first version of it. There's so many. There we go. And that is all of them. I do love it. I definitely. I'm very happy to have this deck. So I can geek out on all the goddesses and use them for all the things. So let me think, let me think, let me know what you think and make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, so <laughs> subscribe um, because I will also be announcing some super cool stuff coming up soon. All right, thanks everyone. See you later.